Okay, gonna definitely need some better luck. Um, maybe the luck starts by drafting a druid and hopefully not queuing into the last couple of opponents. It was a cool deck and I lost a great many farts on it, yeah. It's bad luck with uh, your matchups. That matters more than your deck being good or bad most of the time. Needs to be a 3-2 or a 3-3 for standard. It should be a rogue class card and probably be a 3-3 or something. Um, Meyer Keeper's, Meyer Keeper's okay, I think. Uh, Sneed's Masterpiece. We'll try that out. See if it's any good. And oh, we didn't get a Golden Miracle Growth from our Golden Packs. Best in Shell, I like a lot. Uh, Claw Fury Adept, I like a lot. I like Reef Walker too. We didn't get a Golden Reef Walker. Uh, I like Click Clocker. Huge turd is okay too. Uh, let's take the Toad. We don't have any mech synergies. Uh, I love Flipper Friends. And then Pathmaker plus Flipper Friends is insane. I love Gardens. I like this too, but man, it's nice to have a Gardens. Want a Dredge card if we can. Suppose we'll take Lion's Guard, but I just don't like this card. Uh, power is cool. Galaka Glutton is also kind of cool. Um, it could be nice to have more than one uh, choose one spell. So, take that and double best in shell. Like Mark, too. Got the cheap beasts. And then just kind of like a, a bunch of beasts, really. Uh, Koto Mount's insane. I hate this card. Wrath is really good, but I like Raven Idol. Raven, I think Ra Raven Idol's better with. Uh, Miracle Growth and uh, Scales of Anixia in the, in the pool. Take another one of these. Uh, this card's really good. Um, you could take any. I think I'll just take the Treasure Guard. Our, our card quality is so high that drawing a card from our deck is probably pretty strong, right? Well, there goes that. Get our choice of a 2 mana 4-2, which is bad. A 3 mana 4-2, which is worse. Or a 4 mana 4-2, which... Maybe that's it, just to cycle a card. I don't know. I think this is we just hope not to draw whatever's, you know, we're just being offered here. Pack Mule. Whenever you summon a beast, reduce the cost of this card by 1. Hey, got the mule. I'd like Flame Juggler too, but let's take this guy. Good with Miracle Growth. Oh. Okay. Uh, dire Frost Wolf, insane. Uh, this is all poo. I'm just gonna take the Sidekick. It's cheap poo, at least. Uh, this guy should be pretty good in our deck. That should be okay too, but um, let's take the Matriarch. Uh, this card's pretty good. Pretty good with these. Uh, I'm gonna take a Raven Idol for fun. Lots of beasts. Lots of beasts. Isu for pounce. We take a pounce. Eh, let's take an Isu. And finally, uh, I'm never taking this card again. Crusader's okay. Let's take a troll. Okay, well, this deck looks better than the mage. Uh, let's hope we avoid uh, the opponents we got. It makes itself a 4-5. Which card? Sorry. This deck is nuts. Um, sadly, bet on 5 or 6. I think 7 or 8, probably. Oh, this is a nutty druid deck. Not nutty. It's very strong. Um, I, I would say it's closer to an average druid deck than a broken druid deck. Um, it, it's probably like a 6 or a 7. Maybe like a 7 with the Sneeds. But like so many of these decks have a miracle growth or two and two scales. Um, but you know, this is obviously a good deck. Like... Pathmaker, it will buff itself if you play a 3-2 with power of the wild. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
Miss most of the draft, that's okay. Yeah, we have a we have a Sneed. And two miracle growths. And ways to make it there pretty pretty consistently. I'm gonna cycle this. We just have better ways to curve out. Raid Negotiator is so busted, I love that card. I don't have that card, do I? I see it a lot, I don't get offered it very much. To me, it doesn't feel super common, but I think it kind of is. 84 to 1 odds on doubt. I would take those odds. Bum, bum, bum. I must move quickly. Have you Galakad a 9-7 yet? No, but somebody Galakad mine. I have Galakad some Colossals, I think. I must move quickly. Gesticulate obliterated me in the Discord. What did he do? Did I miss something? I'm going, okay. Did I miss something? Just the emoji? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That I saw. Um... Could play that and then power the wild, maybe. I used to destroy a mech on the nine seven divine shield. A different meta, or this meta. Three mana, two cards. For two two twos doesn't feel worth it anymore. Will it still count even though I played the game before? Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. We could try. I'm not sure. Maybe if you like uninstalled it and have now now you're interested in re-download again to check it out again to support the stream maybe it might I'm not sure though Greetings from beyond the grave Reporting for duty. Who's gonna redeem a good voice line today? That is that is a good question. Flipper Fukin friends I have too many minions Wait, let me decide. I am reserving my spot. Uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna deem this acceptable, but you don't have forever, okay? You have to pick in a reasonable amount of time. But you can take your time. It's fine. You just can't like redeem it next Tuesday or whatever. Take your time. Good evening, Mr. Redbeard. Hey, company man. What about the poison murloc? What about the poison murloc? Sorry, what about it? These undemocratic methods. This is what power abuse looks like. Crip Lord, I'm just gonna go for it, all right? No thought. The scourge will devour all. My Narub. Rebel. 
<laughs> How'd I do? I feel like I did a good job. Uh, I'll just kill the big one. I'll kill the big stinky. Not bad. Okay, okay. I'll accept it. <laughs> as long as you guys feel justified. I actually went 12 with that deck. I just saw the video. Which deck? I'll accept it, Zelda, but if you do that again, I'll put you in the dirt. <laughs> Yeah, the rogue deck? Which one was that? I don't remember. But yeah, check them out. All the Not all of them, but we have a lot of good runs on YouTube already. If anybody has not subscribed to the YouTube. Uh, put up a video today. Maybe it's Mr. Refuge Geek did. Putting up a video tomorrow, I think. Oh yeah, there's... Our, oh my god, the Queen of Shara run is going up tomorrow. Spoilers. Also streams Hearth, yeah. Good Battlegrounds player. Zapperlings? I fucked up. Zapperlings? Did you activate a Shara more than Dreads? Once? Of course. Of course. A bunch, actually. Dreads valued winning over playing Ashara. Well, I did both. Alright. So go and watch that video or hit the like button or hit the subscribe button or maybe download Ace Defender and defeat level 3-1. I don't care. I don't care what you do as long as you're doing some of that stuff. Let's play this one, too. Um... We'll just bonk a few things, making a quality a little worse if he's just got to, uh, you know, he's got to trade his dudes off or something. Who just doesn't know how fun works? He doesn't. He simply doesn't. To me, that seemed like a good kind of fortuitous mossy horror for them. To me, that seems like they got very high value mossy. Jimmy. Uh, let's play this You're one. Not getting in this way. This is Winning isn't fun anymore. Winning is fun. I enjoy winning. What's the new hotness? Uh, losing, getting spit on, metaphorically speaking, by your opponent. Uh, fifty percent chance to attack the wrong enemy. Do I want to kill it? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Not really. I mean, yeah, but also no. Just in case anybody's wondering, this has the the chance to attack the wrong enemy. 
I will always hit it. So this can't go face. Some of those ogres, when you attack them, you can hit them in the face if it misses. I love facing the 0-0 paladin who drops Tyrion and Ivis. My opponent played Mogor's champion. Not quite as strong. Do I have a dredge card? I don't, do I? That's not good. I'll never get the gardens. This looks like we're all facing down strong opponents. What the hell? If he does come back, that would be the start of it. I don't... I didn't think they would, but... Quickly. Hey. What is it? I was listening to that. Mogor is OP. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Haven't been here since the update. How you liking the new cards? I'm loving it, childish. I am. It's been a lot of fun this week. We got diamond diamond drop with the prime. Thank you very much, Diamond Drop. We should... There you go. Uh, why don't they make sounds? Might, it might make a sound. Let me go over to uh, Stream Elements thing. See why it's not making sounds. Normally they make sounds. Get my, my alerts are just delayed. You asked for it. There you should make the sounds too. Uh, thank you very much, Diamond Drop. Streaming tools. My overlays. I'll keep it. seem to make noise. It's kind of cool. Um, I think I, well, I could discover a two drop maybe. Hey everyone, what's up, Joey? Hope you're good and healthy. Hey, Dusty. Um, Tough stuff we can do there. Brownie, what up, Brownie? Wish I could enjoy Arena more, but it's hard playing in Druid Stone. Um, I've had a lot of really fun non-Druid decks and a lot of really fun games against not Druid. It is the best class, but I've already I've had a 12 win Paladin, a 12 win Rogue. Uh, some of my best decks of the meta have been Shaman decks. Uh, we had a tw 10 or a 12 win Mage already couple of like double digit rogues. I think people who did it last time will have to switch their Google accounts. Well, nobody's got to switch any account, Zelda. But uh, if, yeah, if it doesn't count um, a second time, then we'll, we'll have to make some. We'll see if, you know. Majority of Hearthstone players are those who complain about not being good at the game. Um, I think a lot of people struggle with I think a lot of people struggle with um, identifying where they can improve a lot of times yeah I think it's easy to like just look and be like oh I, I, there was nothing I could do they played like whatever card they played like every every turn there's something you can do pretty much if I could trade this or I can hold it. I could play a two and get a hero power in. I have more health then, it changes the game. I could play this and trade. Like I could trade, like you can do so many things. 
I guess I'm bad at the game. None of my druid decks get miracle growth. I had a 12 win druid without miracle growth though. And it's a small sample size, right? If you draft one druid and you don't get the common cards, like that's not that crazy. If you draft 10 druids and don't get one miracle growth, I'd be very surprised if that were accurate. You're not getting in this way. Time goes short. This guy goes down to four. I guess what that would allow me to do is play this. Oh, I have the two twos also. Out of 12 without a miracle growth. Yeah. The thing about Hearthstone, Arena in particular, is like... The sample size of one one run or one game means almost nothing. Like, you can have the best deck and go 0-3, or you can have the worst deck and go 7 wins or whatever. It's over large sample sizes that, um... It's over large sample sizes that somebody's win rate kind of bears bears results, right? It's not it's not like you don't make the leaderboard for one good or good run and you don't you know lose your 30 win run for for one bad bad break or whatever. Uh is the goal for followers or subs this goal is for our uh, sponsored content through Ace Defender. So anybody that downloads the game and defeats level 3-1 which takes about 15 minutes will make that number go up. And we'll make Redbeard's bank account also go up. <laughs> okay, we might need um, a lot of people in order to achieve that goal, but... Warlock, Shaman, or Priest? I just started a run. Uh, Shaman for me. I gotta leave. Have a great day. Bye, Night Rainbow. Hey, Alex. The Queen's power is beyond your comprehension. Sorry, Squishy, I'm working. Okay, the good news, I can bonk most of that. Is there a link to it? Because I'm watching this on my phone, so I can't exactly photograph it. Ray, you're such a sweet lady. Um, I think this works, that link, I'm not sure. The QR code is for uh, the game Ace Defender. So if you download it and beat level 3-1, that goes up, and that helps me, and it's free. And if you want to keep playing after that, that's awesome too. I'll be playing some later today off the stream, okay? So, be cool if some people are hanging out still to chat with me. That would be cool. But I know you guys are, are busy. You have busy lives. Not really, though. I know, I'm your everything. I guess I'll not give him the armor for now, I suppose. Obey the GG growth, man brood. I hope you're doing well. get hit really you could do this but it all dies to flame strike anyway so be back in five hours I'm gonna miss you heart stoner
That one makes noise, but my subs don't. Yeah, my subs don't get a noise. <laughs> uh, thank you. Ambassador Cookie or Ashara? Uh, honestly, Cookie's probably the best guard there. The other two are really, really strong if you get the synergy and really fun. I think uh, Ambassador and Ashara are my two favorite cards, probably, from the new set. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just clicking buttons, mostly. Yeah, you can even keep that if he wants. Cookie is so damn good. Yeah, Cookie's really good. At least the sound draws attention to the cause. Well, yeah, it's a great sound. I always like when we do these and they have cool, like, you know, cool production and whatnot. I should probably get cool stuff like that for the actual stream. Uh, I don't know who that third person was, but thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, I need to get it down to three. So let's actually do 10. Okay, let's do this. I think he's dead, but I'm not actually sure. Give me your best shot. Cool stuff is overrated. And takes precious time. Well, I got a lot of time. I got a lot of time. I will say, I didn't like the game. That's, you know, I appreciate you trying it out. Um, you know, I I had played it before I enjoy it. I know Zelda was madly addicted to it, and, you know, I hope that other people can kind of dig it and take the time to give it a, give it a try, at least. Yeah. But it's cool, it's just a way to freely support the stream if you have the time and desire. If not, we're still playing a buttload of arena. Yeah. All all last week, all this week, so most most important thing is to uh just come hang out here and have a good time if you can. I'm glad I could help. Yeah, me too, man. Really. Serena run looks good. This deck is good, but again, what really matters is what your opponents are doing most of the time. So, you go second and you get hit by a night captain on curve. Sometimes you just, you know, your five mana four six and your four mana three three don't come back. You know, it's not enough to come back. Or your miracle growth, it doesn't do enough, you know? I could coin the growth. Our deck is kind of heavy. I think I'm gonna just coin the growth. The thing about uh, the, the gardens card, we don't have a way to dredge it up ever. So it's like plus three, plus three or whatever. Like how good is that? Somewhat good. But now all of our draws just sort of get better. How far do I have to play for you to get support? You just have to beat level three one. It takes about 15 minutes or so, they say. Vanquished. Strike now. I can go up to 6. Next turn, I can best in shell. That's pretty good. Do you get more stuff if someone plays more than that? Uh, no, but you can feel free if you enjoy it by all means, you know. You know, I hope you do enjoy it. I wish, uh, that poison card didn't exist. Because then his poison, his three drop poison counteracts both of my six cost cards. Or my entire six cost card, you can kill it for three mana. That feels bad. That feels bad to me. I trade this too. I don't have them. Um, I'm never gonna get back on the board enough for that to be good. Who is next on the chopping block? The queen. 
I wish I didn't say what your opponent does matters more and if they knight captain you on curve you lose and whatnot because this is a good example of that game. Now I feel like I uh Strike I feel like I was responsible for this. I, I think though, to be fair, I think I deserve this for playing Hearthstone for a living. I can't win them all. Those are just the sort of like non-interesting games that non-games that just make you not want to play Hearthstone for sure. But I think Battlemaster is my least favorite card in the meta. Um, Knight Captain, Battlemaster, and then the Diver cards probably. Because they just kind of enable games like that. Which is exactly what happened. Where it's just like everything bad about Hearthstone in rolled into one. Going second, being dead on turn, like having zero HP on turn six. Not being able to respond to, <laughs> yeah, to dormant minions. But that's okay. Games don't really play out that way too often, but still, when they do, it feels lame. Why did I, why did I draft any cards? I mean, Cold Tooth is not a good card. All right, we're gonna go for it again. S going second against a Hunter this time. I can't imagine they're gonna have as good of a start as the last guy though, right? You took a risky line with a Wild Growth? Yeah, but it's not like, I mean, we had uh, turn four. Um, We had a turn four best in shell, 14 health of taunt. That was completely irrelevant. A five mana, 610 taunt. That was completely irrelevant. So it's less risky than it seems when you have 24 health of taunt. But when they all die to a three drop, it's, you know, I guess we got quote unquote punished. Also, hey, Jane. Do I need to play all the rounds before the end of the stream? Can I do it tomorrow? It doesn't look uh, that bad. Someone put their heart and soul into it. Uh, it should be up for a couple of days, Ray. Um, so you can play it at your leisure. It should count offline once you get to that, that point. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time to try it out. Get a hero power and use this one. I think I will. Was it Pufferfist Poison Gangbang? Uh, the Murloc. I don't know this Midnight Song. This one... What makes them tasty. I don't know if I'm crazy about this one. I skipped the new Midnight Song with Cheebs and my parents quite a banger. I'm digging it. Okay, okay, I'm playing it, I'm playing it. Discover a minion. Alright, let's play this one first. I'll play it out, I'll play it out. It's gonna be fine, right, at some point? Um, yeah, I hate slime scales. It was a slime scale. So, like, slime scales normally, like, not that good. My, my... Six drop had two power, so... The fact that it can free kill them and still live is... Lame. Why did they print the divers? They're not meta and standard at all. The shit's so stupid. Yeah, I, I don't know. I never get that stuff. 
I never, I would wonder what the mentality is. Like when you're sitting down and developing and designing for a new set, like, okay, here's like the 10 cards we think are gonna be strong in standard, okay? And this is what we think people are gonna wanna buy packs for, the Colossals or whatever, switcheroo, whatever card. And then you're like, okay, well, we gotta make another 100 cards. Okay, well, how about this? So well, how about that? We'll never play, play in standard, eh, who cares? Just put some stats on them, just put some effect on them, just move it. I don't know. Like, that, that's the part I just don't get. This is so many things. You're not getting in this way. That sounded a little like that Rush song, Closer to the Heart, no? Closer to the heart, like when the... No? A little like a Rush song. I wonder what the odds are. I have 18 cards that cost 3 or less. Mulligan all cards away because I have zero curve. Then I drew no playable cards until turn 4. The odds? Very low. Probably. The cold can't stop me. Neither can you. This is my bridge. Uh, here I'll take that one. Yeah, I don't know. They have a new album out that just came out. Um. Woe betide those who set themselves against me. Throw on a different uh, midnight song. Does Rena even enter the conversation? Yeah, maybe. And I, I would. I guess I'd wonder if may, maybe my guess would be um, somebody probably says like, okay, well that this will be an arena card. Uh, this will be an arena card. It probably comes up a lot. But it's probably, I would assume, more just a, a thing you would say after a card that's not going to be relevant. You don't anticipate being relevant in standard would like kind of just be considered a, an arena card. I don't know. Micro adjustments are coming. Micro adjustments are not coming. Not in the way that they used to, at least. But I think they will ban a few cards and adjust a few things as well. I think. And honestly, like, I don't think they like need to change something so badly right now. I think the meta is pretty good, except that the, there's three classes that are basically unplayable, which sound, you know, but like in terms of like individual cards, I think there's only a few culprits. I think there's probably like four or five cards you'd probably want to like adjust or like look at in a different sense. I'm gonna try to do this and then this on four. We'll see. That seems pretty good. If they could just adjust some offering rates. Yeah, I, and I think they can. Like, that's the thing. From what I understand, the person who did the micro adjustments left the company. But the micro adjustments that they did was like running a program to artificially do it, like, simplistically. And now they can do pretty much the same thing, but they have to do it manually and they have to do it by feel. There's not like a quote unquote like program to. This way. There's not like a program to automate it. So I think in the last six months or last year, however, six months maybe we haven't had like a real micro adjustment system. I think their mentality is like, well, we don't really know what we should change, so we're not going to change anything. Whereas now I think. You know, I think they're shifting more to the mentality of like, okay, well, let's make a couple little adjustments here to get, you know, Redbeard and Dreads to shut up. I think. Which is cool. All I really want is to shut my big yapper. <laughs> Legendaries are fun. I don't want them to be an 80% of decks win. Many of them just win the game on the spot now. I'd like to see classes bounce, then maybe them lower legendary offering rate a bit. Seems way higher than it used to be. 
I actually like, I'd rather have the legendaries up than the epics, personally. I think the legendaries are fun. I do think some of the legendaries should be designed differently uh, so that they, they are not quite so overbearing. I think more, what would actually be cooler is if the legendaries that were that good, like let's say the Colossal specifically had a lower offering rate for those specific legendaries than the current legendaries. So you'd be more likely to get, you know, I don't know, the curse, legendary curse guy, or Queen Ashara maybe, or maybe that card's too good. I, I don't think that card's that good, but like you're like more likely to get Queen Ashara or Scenarius, but less likely to get a Colossal or a Sneed or a, or a Raid boss if you're not gonna remove those things. More taunts. But I think the legendaries are fun, especially cards like, you know, Aya or something. A payoff for an archetype that could be supported in Arena. Like a legendary Murloc card. Like, um, Finley, maybe. Like where you might have a lot of dredge payoff, but no way to really enable it as opposed to something like this that just kind of like wipes the board and leaves a minion. Like this functions almost identically to raid boss, right? Just wipe the board, leave a minion. Ysera, play it, then wipe the board and leave a minion. Half the Colossals, play it, wipe the board, leave a minion. It's very boring. That being said, I like the Colossals a lot more than a card like this, which is just like... In fact, I hate this card so much, I'm gonna kill him with this one so they don't have to feel bad. It was less of a problem pre-Colossals, but this meant it's a bit too much. Yeah, so I just, I haven't had a lot of games determined one way or another by Colossals. And, and this is kind of what I was talking the other day to Veritas about, or maybe it was with you. Um, and you know, it's a small sample size, so maybe a week from now I just lose, you know, 17 games of Colossals and I hate them as much as everyone else, but I've beat a lot, I've lost with them a fair amount, um, I haven't played that many games with them, and most of the time I'm getting Colossals or my opponents are getting Colossals, it's like from a Shifter Zerus or, you know, a Phelan, I have to top deck a Phelan, and then I have to find a Dredge card, and then I might not get the Colossal I need, and then my opponent might be able to answer it, so... But yeah, I mean, it's never going to feel good when you lose to a Colossal, but I don't know. I always make the same argument. I don't feel good when I lose to a Bridge. I don't feel good when I lose to a Night Captain or a Hollow A-Bomb. Like, I almost never feel good when I lose. So if I'm going to lose to something that, for most intents and purposes, feels kind of sort of unanswerable... I'm gonna take that one. I, I want to take the compost, but I don't want to be too greedy. But if I'm gonna lose to something that kind of feels quote unquote unanswerable, then I'd rather at least like, I'd rather be a cool card. I'd rather feel like I'm having fun when I play those cards. Whereas I don't feel like I'm having fun when I play Spawn of Deathwing. It's all the previous very busted legendaries. Ivis, Raid Boss, Ysera, Sneeds. Then there's Colossals on average. You're gonna face at least a couple of those per run. Yeah, but what's the alternative? Like, you don't get offered good cards. You know, then you just lose. Like, then you just have the same discussion about, um, you know, Raid Boss, or uh, sorry, Night Captain, or um, Miracle Growth, or Scale. Like, you take out the most powerful cards, the second and third most powerful cards become that much stronger. Cards that currently help you answer those cards. Now there's nothing to answer those, so you just kind of have to keep going down this cascading scale. I like if cards are going to be that powerful that they cost a lot, like the Colossals do, that they're not easily discoverable, like the Colossuses are not. Um, I like that the dragons are really not not very easy to discover in this meta. Um, three, four. I like that Sneeds is not particularly easy outside of Gorilla Bot. Honestly, Gorilla Bot I think is probably more of a problem because it's a three mana three four with a huge upside. Let's see. Bridge is stupid. I hate bridge. I mean, I have wild paw. Like, I hate losing to wild paw. You know? So, I don't know. Get it. For me, it's like, it gets. Now, how about. I've got 
most exotic wares. For me, it gets kind of. Just by I'm always going to be annoyed when I lose to anything. Somewhat. Because I want to win. Because I feel pretty good at this game. So. I don't think that you can really get rid of that. I think if a card's going to win the game, it shouldn't cost 5 mana. Like, it should cost more than 5. But that one did cost 5 and now I'm fooked, so... Do you have an audience with the king? Only Miracle, Growth, and Sneeds. Low rolled this one. We don't feel like we low rolled this one. The will of the Forsaken is However, I could, you know, use some more powerful cards, you know, Dredd, just between you and me. Could take a couple of scales. <laughs> Dread Salt. Dress is salty here. You ain't even playing Hearth. <laughs> here. I wanted to hit not that one. I was going to free trade that one. Um, sure. I don't know. You can hit this one too. I just got here. I like to be annoying. It doesn't annoy me. I know, this deck is good. We said this deck was good. I didn't say this deck was bad. Dredge, you downloading Ace Defender. Also, are you going to be playing Ace Defender? We kind of like talked about it, but I don't know. <laughs> I only played one game. I dislike that I was only offered shit legendaries in the draft. Other than that, I can accept a bad deck. Yes, and, and you have to roll bad decks sometimes, or or decks of varying power. Otherwise, you're just playing constructed, right? If everybody wanted to have like a good deck with the best cards and the same cards, and you just queue up constructed and you buy the packs and then you play constructed, and that's you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I like that, you know. Some of my decks are good, and some of my decks are less good. I like it better when they're good, but they're only good relative to when they're bad, so you have to get some bad decks sometimes. And I like, uh, you know, I like doing that. I beat the 3-1 stage. Hey, thanks, Lonely Lotus. You're the best. I passed. Good luck with 105. Well, you know, they're, they're going to be you know, compensating us for uh, playing for a few hours on stream, too, so. But hey, look, Dreads, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get there. <laughs> uh, thank you to the, those who have completed the tutorial. That's really nice of you. The sound, it's a good sound too. We could just, I, 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 they gave me the alerts. They don't do it for uh, subs and uh, follows or any subs even. There's no sound effects. I have to talk to them about that. Back to the Panther. But uh, thank you very much, and uh, Overexposed, good to see ya. And thanks to the four people who have downloaded this already. Pretty cool. None may steal our secrets. You can do double flipper. Uh, double flipper means I can't trade off everything, or as much, so... I can have a better... Um, I can have a bigger board and leave him with a bigger board, which is not the worst. Overexposed and Maki, what's up Maki? Uh, that should make sound in a little bit. I think it's a little delayed, but thank you Overexposed. Gifting five subs, DFO Joe, Junseppe, Valdemir, JMJ, and Bozbot. Welcome everybody. I don't know if this is good. Can hit here though. Added more booby to the game since last time I helped you. <laughs> what the hell? Dreads just downloading like crazy. What the? Dreads just downloaded ten times. Uh, thank you so much, Overexposed. <laughs> don't tell Amanda. He's gonna get in trouble again. 
Reporting for duty. Uh... You're not getting in this way. I don't know if it's just me. Three six. I have no idea what to do right now. Nice, thanks. Hey, Giuseppe, are you the guy that works for Stream Elements, by the way? I should have done this already, probably. Have I hit anything yet? I don't know. This has to go into something. Okay, hold on. I can't look at chat right now. Five? Okay, five. Um... One? I don't know. You might have been able to do that a little cleaner. Redbeard, I ordered some VMAX Climax cards. I have never... I want to order some Japanese cards. I like them a lot. Um, thank you to whoever uh, also just completed that. Very cool of you. It takes longer than it should. I need someone to tell me how to... Min-max it. I think it takes 15 minutes, no? Welcome. Is there a Giuseppe from Streamlabs? Yeah, that must not be you. <laughs> Doing that, that, that. Uh, that. And I guess I'm doing that and hoping that he doesn't draw any uh, dragon, good dragons for a while. Maybe my heroes were not good. I think you, did you upgrade them? You can like power up your heroes. There's like a, you spend your resources to level them up. Japanese cards are far superior. Murps was right. Once you start with Japanese cards, the English cards don't hit the same way. Yeah, they're they're better. They're, it's a better card stock, and uh, the the borders, the the, the gray and, and black borders and stuff are really cool. Okay, so we might not win this game, but this is a good example, right? Where like. He played a Colossal and a Prester, and, you know, obviously our deck is strong too. I feel like these are how a lot of these games play out, where there, you can actually go back and forth with some of these legendaries, and it's you're not obligated to have them yourself. We could have been fine hitting a, you know, a Best in Shell instead of a Sneeds there, potentially. We might not have won that turn, but I don't know. I feel like in that regard, I'd rather us have cool strong cards. Now, I, that being said, I hate Goliath, but I'd rather us have cool strong cards capable of answering their cool strong cards than everybody playing with polluted hoarders and, you know, terror, treasure guards and whatnot. Uh, but thanks again, Overexposed, for the gifted subs. And thanks to Smellyhead, I believe, for being the fifth person to download and complete uh, the, uh, the, uh, the required uh, uh, levelage. You want to keep playing? You know, nothing wrong with that, Smelly. You could face me on the battlefield. Kel Yadar. What's up, Kel? Love that Kel Yadar. Which classes can you recommend? I would say draft druid, uh, and demon hunter, and rogue, and probably paladin. Not gonna keep that. I, I like that card in the early game, but if I don't hit a good curve, then it's useless. If I already had a one or a two, I'd be more inclined. Uh, just like Mikey, thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna open that. Uh, I'm gonna wait on that. I could do it. That was the that was the follow sound. Great. I love games about defending. Aisley, yeah, me too. Just the best. Just amongst the best. All right, let's do this. 
So next turn, very possible we, we just play this and coin that. We're gonna, if this is on the board, I'm almost certainly gonna do that. Is Priest a good class for Rita? This meta? No. It's very bad. I think it's the worst or second worst. You're not getting in this way. Ace Defender is not available in Brazil. Really? Well, that's not good. I have a big Brazilian fan base. Want the plank? Gladly. Uh, how do I spend four mana? On a mana crystal or a 2-2? Two -two? I think on a 2-2, two -two, right? Because I already have a pretty reasonable curve. Stygian one wants to get in on this. The land serves me. Uh, okay. We just trade that, play this. I get some free trades too. Uh, four, eight, ten. I need nine damage. No savage roar. What I think I want to just play this. Do you have an audience with the king? He might scale us. Feel my wrath. That would sting. I hate that card. I don't have one. Do you have an audience with the king? Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. I fucking hate that card too. Uh I could have prevented that from going off though. I never think about that card. <laughs> I just played one too. I it's just never it never goes off for me because I'm responsible with my HP. But I could have stopped that. Never a spell, sure. What if we hold off and we just do that next turn? Could do that, right? Throw them out. Hey, Melon. Melan. Mulch would have good. They didn't offer me mulch though, right? I don't think. Yeah, I would have I would have snapped up a mulch though. I just wish it did me too. He doesn't have Primordial Drake. Well, maybe I do hope he does. No, I don't. I hope this fits on the ship. They have to go so hard in the death sound. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty intense death sound. Uh, Groverton, thanks for the follow, Groverton. You're not getting in this way. What's happening? Why are all of his cards zero mana? <laughs> Why is this happening? Come on, tournament medic, yeah. <laughs> Come on, tournament medic. All right, we got six wins. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got people downloading uh, the game. Hello, Redbeard. Good evening. What is up, Ben? 
What is up? Versus Lunara! Beware the turning tides. May they turn against you. I went one in three. Oh no. Oh no. Should I keep that? Maybe. This path maker is pretty good for us. Took a shower, washed my hair, ate a tomato sandwich. I think that's enough for the day. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, what do I do? Sometimes like, uh, sometimes I like make an appointment to do something I have to do. And then I'll just be like, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like I'll just call somebody, talk on the phone for like 10 minutes. Like, yeah, I've, uh, I've done as much as I can. Isn't shower and wash hair the same thing, Redbeard? Uh, no. List three things, get one done, still a win in my book. Yeah, absolutely. No, they're very different. I, um... As a man with long, luscious hair, but maybe, has, you know, who has dated ladies with long, beautiful hair in the past, uh, sometimes you'll take a shower but not wash your hair, like... You know, like there's like a real wash routine that you're not supposed to wash every day. Okay, Redbeard, let's be serious. I got a box of Climax. Chilling Rain Brilliant Stars coming, along with all the new Umbreon, Espeon, Sylveon hits. We're gonna have to trade some cards. Yeah, just let me know what you want. I'll take pictures. I'll send you what, you know, if you want any any pictures or anything. Or if you have any preferences, or, or if Lily has any preferences. I have a lot of Evolving Skies dupes. I have a lot of. I think that that's like the abundance of it. A 2-2? Two, two? Or if I ramp this turn? What if I ramp this turn? I could uh, Miracle Growth sooner. I'm gonna float mana next turn. Alright, I'm gonna take some slime. Let's do the slime time. I mostly only care about cute dupes you got. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll put some effort, and thanks to the sixth person who downloaded that, I'll, I'll put some actual effort. You just tell me what you want. I think I have a couple dupe baby shinies. Uh, I got a lot of duplicate VMAXs. I've got a couple duplicate amazing rares for sure. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. I have a bunch of duplicate hollows, but I don't know if you, I mean... If you open a couple boxes, you'll have them too. If that frog was created for this latest set, it would only target minions. It would shoot two of them and it would have <laughs> poison. You think so? Pretty powerful. My hero power here. These aren't very good. This turn kind of sucks. I've not been offered this card once. I love that card. You can just trade at TwitchCon too, so no shipping or anything if you want. Yeah, but we could, I could, we could like start setting aside piles or whatever. Pokemon party? Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a party. It will be a Pokemon. We'll have to set aside like a couple hours of one night for Pokemon. Absolutely. We gotta find a Pokemon shop that we can invade and buy all of their cards. <laughs> you gotta be can we get together at TwitchCon and everyone just opens a booster? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I would enjoy that. Yeah. Alright, so what am I doing this turn? Because I've sort of done nothing for a few turns. I could trade there. I could look for something. Uh, actually, Scully, thanks to the follow. I'm gonna trade and try to pick up a six. Um... Could trade there and see what comes out. I think at some point I'm gonna need a scale of Anixia. Thank you, Scully. My box will be the best. No, I, I thought about this is Dredge's box would cer certainly be the worst, right? We could all agree on that. Deservedly so. 
because of all the bad, <laughs> bad energy he puts out. <laughs> I don't want to trade and give him like a 4-3 or something. Redcon equals 20 dudes at a Denny's playing Pokemon, I like it. Uh, there will be no playing. Uh, I would imagine there will be some ladies there. Overexposed is already invited. Um, that's, that's at least one female, you know, human being. Composting. That's bad. Uh, that's what I needed last turn. I'm gonna need to find my Sneed's Shredder, I'm sure. Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay. Not quite burning a card. You complain about the Pokemon you get, the Pokemon Dreads gets the bottom of the totem pole. True. It's enough to download the game, or how do I know when I'm done helping you? I have no idea what I'm doing. You just have to complete uh, level 3-1, which takes about 15 minutes, um, and then they will help Redbeard pay for his bills. They said, hey, if, if they all... What's composting? When his guys die, that he draws a card. Everyone that was on the board. So he draws like six cards for two mana. Five cards or something. You gotta have the board first. You gotta wait to draw the cards. Composting's a cool card. I like that one. That I did? Well then you're the best, Morny, you're in. Is there a way to know if it went through? Like, should I finish 3-1? But I don't know if it came through on your end. Like, I should have finished 3-1. Um, it will go up on that counter, other than like, it, you know, seeing it when it happens, it's hard to like... It's hard to like definitively say. But if you did it, and it didn't go up, sometimes it takes a second. Pick up number six then. Let's go with that. If you did it, then you did it, and then you're one of the six. That's that's my opinion. It's a really cool deck. Yeah. We didn't get a scale, so we have to build our own scale. Which is fine. It's fun. Um, the problem with that, well, I guess there's no problem. Well, there's a problem, but I, the problem would be the po if I couldn't get to the poison, that would be the real problem. I can kill one of them and that thing. He draws one card. I wonder if it's greedy not to. What if? He's kind of might like soak up some damage, right? Maybe. And then make a better Sneeds for us. I must go sleepy. Do sleeping now. Big day tomorrow. Good night. Good night, chat. Hey, good night, Overexposed. Thank you for the support. Um, message me. I don't have WhatsApp or Snapchat anymore. Could you message me on Discord if you have it? Or I'll get one of those. So we can chat. We can set aside some, uh, some pokey trades. Keep in touch. Like friends do. Message read by Carrier Pigeon. You can send me a, a message by Carrier Pigeon. I'll send you a message with some stuff I want to sell. And stuff. Wait, trade or sell? Or both? Just send me a pokey message. By sell, I mean trade. Okay. I don't want money. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to, I'm down to trade. Gosh darn it. I mean, we're soaking up the hits, but now they're all at even or odd, odd health totals. 
which is a little bit of, a, of an issue. So what I think I'm going to do is... Uh, big taunt. Just wish I could get another thing down. Um... What does dredge and colossal mechanic mean? Dredge. Look at the bottom three cards of your deck and put one on top. Colossal just spits out that many minions, and then the the minions do something spe specific relative to the to the colossal. We will strike back harder. Um, are we just never gonna get a, an adequate uh, Sneed's masterpiece? This guy's just gonna put an infinite amount of stuff on the board every turn. I think I might just be dead now, though, because of this card. I, think I have to do this. I think I'm dead. No. Yeah, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, seven, eight. I guess we're at one in theory. Dredge is the lesser Hearthstone Arena streamer. And Colossal is the size of this current streamer's dong. Yes. I like that. I like it. One, two, three. Wait. How many have I shot? Was I supposed to trade first? Oh, I think I'm still dead. How many have I done? Two? Oh, three left. One, two, three. Oh, I thought I could shoot one more. Hmm. I guess I can't, huh? Oh, no, no, no. I could do this. But I have to hero power or die. Yeah, that's fine. I think you are dredge. You are dead. <laughs> Maybe. As long as he doesn't get one damage. When I heard dredge, I was like, they gave dredge a keyword. You need a beard keyword. That's unfortunate. I actually think we come back if he doesn't find one damage that turn. So we throw a huge taunt. Get a trade. Oh well. The broken druid decks lose to other broken druid decks, it seems. I'm glad we didn't mess up that uh, Sneed's turn, though. I was optimistic we were going to come back if he didn't top deck one damage. Wow, nice tune. Lunara! Hey, two of our losses so far basically were to that um, Rush Murloc, huh? Lost pretty much two games straight up. I mean, we lost them both because we went second and they had that plus a Night Captain, but common denominator is going second and getting hit by dormant minions. So we better just not allow either of those things to happen again. Give me a cool spell. Give me a cool spell. Play my own composting at some point. Maybe if we can pick up flipper friends or something, maybe. Don't face dormant rush poison three drops. Not if your whole deck is two seven taunts. <laughs> Or what else did we have? Oh, a 210 taunt. We had a 210 taunt and two 27 taunts. Which, I would argue, it's suboptimal. Are you waking up the liquid when you shake the water bottle? There's a caffeinated powder in there that settles at the bottom. So the top tastes like diluted fruit water. And then if I shake it up, it kind of tastes like fruit punch. Good question, though, Schmagoigle. Well worth my time for answering. <laughs> I don't know why they are putting Rush on every dormant card. It removes all the downsides. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be a downside. I think it's supposed to be an upside. You can't target it. It's the upside, right? Which is a bummer, because I want to target it. Tis a good draw. Maybe the best of draws. I can have six mana next turn. More importantly, I can have seven mana two turns from now. But as I've got a five, 
No, I want extra. I want a create gain a mana crystal. Because at some point I can do this. And running out of resources won't be as bad when I can just refill my hand with more mana crystals available. So we mitigate the, uh, the effect of going second a bit, right? Which is cool. Good card. Um, and then let's do this. Because he's going to either that's going to die or that's going to die or a card is going to come out. I guess if it's a nightcap, then it's not as good. But uh, then we can do this next turn. Try to clean up and refill. Seeing Dreads outside of his own stream, it's terrible. I thought we uh, we got him stuck over there. Could you guys believe that Dreads didn't know how to open up the chest? <laughs> And that Dreads didn't even know what the key does on this board. <laughs> what a fool. What an April fool. Hey! <laughs> Shut the hell up. Laffy boy. Dreads isn't pretending? What was he pretending to say? Did I put that down? Zero mana to kill this guy, basically. Might stop us from... I guess we're never gonna um, burn a card, right? Oh, we, we might if... If we don't play that, we'll have seven. He'll kill, he could kill all of them. I burn a card. Not the otters. It's a Schmagoigle thing. Don't worry about it. I never worry about Schmagoigle. Lizard overestimated the downside of dormant. Three mana, two, four, rush poison seems good. Three mana, two, four, rush poison seems good enough by itself for sure. I, enjoy raiding. I don't know why they have dormant. If you put Dormant 2, I think the cards would be annoying, but could actually like do something about them, like with them and about them. I should have done this first. I definitely should have traded. I could have buffed so many more things. Oh, no, no, I want to play this guy. I don't really, that, you know, that, that's why, that's why I did that. I wanted more buffs on the board. Without any more rushes, I do want to kill us. I'm scared. Sometimes it's an upside, yeah. But like, Blizzard knows that Dormant is good. There's already been good Dormant cards. Like, I mean... If they care about Arena, which... Mm, there's already been 2 mana, 3, 5, dormant with Rush. That card was already one of the best, if not the best, 2 drop for an entire year. And then it went away and I was happy. And then it came back and I was less happy. Hey, I got you, friend. I want to summon an orca. I assume Dormant was new? Uh, no, I don't know. What's it, a year old? Two? A year and a half? A year, maybe? Uh, it's like Ashes in Outland or, or something, I think. Had Dormant. Yeah, whenever Demon Hunter first came out, it was Dormant, right? Because there was... Uh, Let's just dump our hand. You're not getting in this way. Um, I can have eight. Is 
Three, uh, three, here. Just kill stuff or no matter. No matter to me. Chuckles. Whatever vile feed was, dying in solos is the way. It's gonna carry me in PUBG on stream. Wait, you guys are gonna play together? I hope you, can you kill him? Can you like accidentally kill dreads? My opponent just played three Immortalize and Stone in a row. <laughs> Minus one arena player. No, you have to keep playing. You're a dedicated diehard arena fan. You don't really have a choice. I'm so glad we went infinite. That's really cool. What that means is we will get our gold back for this run. Spectacular news. If uh, you guys aren't following the stream, now would be a good time. I got actually Scully, Groverton, just like Mikey. And if anybody cares, we did just put out a new YouTube video. Debuted today. Almost a million views. Close, getting close to a million. So it's really, you know, you can go hit some buttons over there, leave a comment. 20 minutes ago, somebody wrote, yay, Redbeard. Yay, Jonathan. You did great. I can even write back to you. You leave a comment. Hey Fumi, what's up Fumi Fun? First time here, love to see it. Your soul shall be mine. Beware the turning tides. Beware the turds and tides. This could all be good. Maybe we ditch that and just coin this into this. It's a pretty good curve, but if... I, I guess even if the 1-1 dies, we still probably have a 3-4. It's gonna be hard to kill it all. You could keep that, but I'm actually just gonna um, commit to the two threes if I can. Red, you absolute turd burglar. Your deck was bullshit. Oh, that was you, Chuckles. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. You make your longtime sub not want to play arena with nonsense like that. Come on, you're playing Demon Hunter. What do you want from me? You're playing cheese, cheese burglar Demon Hunter over here. You're playing Turd Burglar Demon Hunter. Come on. How many Illidaris you got in your deck that you didn't draw? How many Nightcap? How many how many sharks and puffer fist? Be honest with me. Good night, Redbeard. Later, Hurthy. Thanks for uh, downloading the, the game and helping out. Thanks for hanging out also. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um I've got exotic wares and funnel cakes. I don't know, trade in there kinda of feels like fart. Pray for bunker. I want my 500 wins and you're slowing it down. Just play a tavern brawl. That's bad for me. Oh, that's Omega shit. Omega Shitsville, uh, which four? I could play that. I could play this and just take my mana crystal, but again, I'm gonna float a mana crystal, so let's just do this. The ocean is a scary place. You got sharks throwing glaives at you and pufferfish fisting you. <laughs> it's the pufferfish I'm really worried about. At zero, my deck was fair. I went from 0-2 to 6-2 and, and then I queued into your wretched existence. You could have avoided me. Instead, you flew too close to the sun, Chuckles. You got... You got conky. This guy's... And look, come on, you could have queued into this guy. You would have would have whomped us both. I mean, not me. I'm gonna come back, but maybe not. I'm gonna uh, ramp next turn to Goliath, maybe. We'll see. In the ocean, you have the dolphins who eat pufferfish to get high. Is that true? Is that a fabrication of the, the truth. Or... Of the forsaken is unbreakable. All I needed, all I wanted, one average turn for this guy. 
I play that. I get a 6-6 taunt. I don't get to Sneeds, but honestly, like, if we're gonna have any chance to win this game, I think this straight has to happen. It has too many stats to not take. We can growth into Sneeds. That might slow him down enough. They might not. They might not have a hard removal spell in their hand. If they have a spawn of Deathwing, they may not hit the Orca. That's what I'm staking my claim on. Sounds made up, but it's just because nature is far more wild than we give it credit for. And yeah, that's good. What is this, like a spammy? Hippo. Okay, maybe he's out of absurd stuff and I'm just getting started. Oh, why am I always at 16? <laughs> why am I always at fucking 16? I guess I could hero power it, slap it. That's pretty good, actually. All right, you know what? I'll kill that sucker. Obey the sea. You have an audience with the king. Now his uh, spawn of Deathwing gets a little better, but you know. Pathmaker is so dumb with flipper friends, yeah. Yeah, some smart person during their card reveal talked about that. Was it Dreads? No. It was Redbeard. <laughs> it was Redbeard. Well, I guess I shouldn't have been laughing at my friend Dreads. Oh, wait, it's not dead. Oh, that's fine. He didn't even kill my guy. Oh, I could just kill this. What am I talking about? I thought it still eight. Having five mana is so dumb with flipper friends. Dreads wouldn't think of that. Not astute enough. <laughs> no, he's not a good astute. Not like Redbeard. Student of the game. I could bonk that. I could buff something. I could do the old buff and bonk. Let's see what they got for us here. Ooh. Ah. Look at friends is overstatted. Well, yeah, five mana six six rush or five mana six six taunt. Or with Pathmaker, but yeah, it's a little overstatted. You could, it could be a 5-5 five, five that summons 5-1-1 five, one, one otters, and I think you would still pick it pretty often in Arena. That's a red beard order. That's my move. That's what I do with that card all the time. Uh, tra <laughs> odd decision. Uh, what if I play this? That way I have more taunts on the board. And then I still have this in case he drops like a primordial drake. Summon even larger and larger moss golem. Why not nine face? We just threw nine face. What do you mean the turn before? Uh, his guy is taunt. So last turn we hit his taunt. Two turns ago we hit his taunt. This turn we bashed both of his taunts and then pushed nine to his face. But the way we did it, we developed another taunt just in case he has a removal and a way to kill us. Using the rush 8 8. Yeah, we used the rush 6 12. Which will let us push 9 phase. So we summon no rush minion. Uh, in, in case. You were not familiar, sorry. We played on uh, this card. Give a minion, plus 4-2 and rush. So we played this one and made it a 6-12. Because that's still big enough to kill the 0-5. And then we still get to hold the troll. So if he plays something with 8 health, we still have the rush and we can kill him. Who will put an end to this tyrant's run? Uh, let's pay out the bet. And then we're gonna make a bet on 12, okay? So the yes boys need their farts. 
I'm gonna give you guys one minute only. One minute. So hopefully someone who is just and good. Where's our hero dreads to vanquish the hairy <laughs> red menace? Oh, what the heck? Your play was better? Uh, I think it was better, but I think both were fine. I think you could, but you leave yourself slightly susceptible to your opponent having a removal spell, double pushing face, and then having like a hellfire too. So if they have like a siphon and a hellfire, you'll actually end up dying there. So very unlikely they have a two or three card combo, but when the alternative is to still remove the board, push the same amount of damage and have a taunt, then I'll do that. Plus it's a little more protective against a death wing, right? He might uh, not be able to kill your your six drop taunt and you get to drop a four two that can go face. Which subsequently would be able to trade into the Deathwing with the troll for lethal. So it's things like that in the discussion we were having earlier about how like it's really easy to say like nothing you did mattered, I never had a chance. There's, you know, even for good players, and even though I say things like that sometimes, there's so many different things you can do which might affect the game, you know, depending on what they have or what they might draw or what they might do. So there's almost always something you could do, whether or not, you know, there's, there, there's almost always something you could do to increase your win rate over, over many games keeping this or, or mulliganing this or you know coining out a three drop next turn and hoping to hit a three like you just can't factor in all of that and the game changes every turn based off of those decisions you make some decks are just poo and have only one or two lines or three lines or four and some decks are really really good and have ten different lines you know on any given turn like this game, we've had, you know, no choice other than perhaps to keep something in the mulligan. And I'm certainly coining that, and I'm also praying that I stop drawing like this. <laughs> Bit of a pricey hand, yeah. We have a pricey cards in our deck. Unfortunately, they're they're all in our hand. Fortunately, right? It's about perspective. Sometimes this hasn't happened until eight and two, and we have one more draw to not get completely screwed, or perhaps even half of a draw. Um, so it's not completely over yet. Although we were at a Pretty big disadvantage going second and skipping turns one, two, and potentially four. Um, just gonna play it. What it does is it allows us to play this next turn if we completely whiff. Like, we could pick up a troll centurion, odds are really low at this point. But um, we could whiff another draw. Uh, so if, if he's trading, good for us. Let's go just Pack Mule, yeah. I, it's more important to get something down here. Going second, drawing bad against a Demon Hunter with a good curve isn't much of a choice for you, no. But most games don't play out this poorly in terms of your curve, so. Uh, he's kind of helping us out here a bit. And hit there, can go there. If he doesn't, we can go there. He could go there and get a free hero power. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. If you're going to make that trade, then it, it's kind of weird to me. I don't have anything. I could just trade this guy. A fine purchase. Ooh. Almost makes you not want to play that one, but I think I'm still going to get clocked for a bit here. Eh? Uh, thank you to the seventh person who downloaded and uh, uh, defeated level 3-1 on uh, Ace Defender. Pretty cool. Pretty kick-ass. So what's our best draw now? Uh, beaming Sidekick, maybe Gardens. Gardens would be a good draw. 
Let's see, what do I take? Uh, Flipper Friends? Flipper Friends would be a good draw. Clear most of the board and get the 6-6 six, six down. And then we would have that as well to follow up. Uh, as it were, I think we just have to play this Gigantor minion and hope that they don't have silence or too much rush. Possible that you can't trade into this right now. Entirely possible. Seven out of uh, 105. Our first goal is 170, though. But, you know, if we can get some uh, some downloads, that's good, too, you know? Looks looks better. Some people download it. I lead from the front. Uh, Flipper Friends, still looking quite strong. Best in Shell. Two taunts instead of one large taunt. If I could play that too, which I can next turn. Um, these kind of help with this. Throw them out. I have to do that, right? Hmm. Insta Miracle? You think so? I don't think it's instant. So it's stage 3-1 in the Expedition, in case anybody is confused. Yeah, the Expedition is like the story mode, or like the main mode. There's the Flipper Friends, which is actually a pretty big deal. Hmm. If this game, I mean, like, he's got like a turn or two. Like, he kind of has to have like a premium, like, yeah, like a Illidari here. I guess Illidari and he wins. But... You never knew who you wanted. That's in Chalice, you play Knight of the Wild. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah. So I can leave him with two power. Feels bad. It feels bad to me. I'm gonna play these, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Inquisitor still dunks us no matter what. So maybe we should just play this and not buff him. Maybe we should have done that last turn. The will of the Forsaken is unbreakable. At least it cost him five mana. So he can go. I mean, I'm assuming he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's gonna trade one of them off. Oh, he kind of almost dies. Wow, he's really close to being dead. Six, seven, eight. Nine, eight, ten. Wait, I need one damage. What does this do? Maybe I should have just played this. I could have got that. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to buff him. Uh, 6, 8, 10. I need one damage. Hold on. I gotta scratch off some of my skin here. Eight, ten, eleven. There's no damage, right? Other than this. Alright, let's play Sneeds. Can we always die to Inquisitor or no? Yeah, we're always dead to Inquisitor either way, so... Maybe I should have traded. Could I have bound damage? I could have found Kodo Mount, huh? I should have traded first, that was dumb. I actually could have found Power of the Wild. Are you for now? Do the others have to switch their accounts? I don't know, actually. 
Um, we got nine wins though. The link is safe. Oh, okay, I didn't know what it was, or nobody prefaced that with any info, so I just, I just blooped it. I didn't know what that was. Logged into my account, which is at level 25. Mm. Yeah, if you already have it and you already have an account um, beyond that, you, it probably you you might not be able to, to assist with this one, Zell, unless you wanted to like introduce it, the game to your mom or your pa or your brother. Like, check out this awesome game, Ace Defender. You can help out my boss. <laughs> That's me. That's you talking to your family. They don't have me able to help out my boss. Hi, I play against Oliver every night now. Unless there's a lot of Olivers. My shaman deck. Okay, Nasarian. Let me look at this. I don't like this. Website. I don't know what this is. Uh, two Verichugs, six Shorgan Watchers, uh, two Shorgan Watchers, a Fury Mentar. My God, that looks powerful. Uh, I got some macaws in there too, and a um, Wild Pod Cavern. Looks good. Looks good. Do you like my German? <laughs> is that German? I'm assuming Icelandic. <laughs> Couple of brilliant Nataras. <laughs> Gotta love the brilliant Nataras. Uh, let's see if they got any juice for me. Flippers? Frostwolf's good. Composting is too. Let's take that. I wish I could play this turn. Uh, I'm never hero powering next turn, so. Each scar, a foe vanquished. Uh, I need to kill everything. If I had hero powered it, maybe I could hero power it again, like here. Probably. Don't need to, right? Gonna need to go in here. Frostwolf kernels. Let's go, Oliver, win this game! <laughs> no, not Oliver. Chuckles. I, I, is this how Dreads feels? Everybody always rooting against him in his own chat. Everybody despising his every being. I gotta say, it doesn't feel good, Chuckles. It doesn't. This is how. You, this is how you make another Dreads jaded, angry. I don't know what else. What other feelings? This got scaled three times in a row. You can't make this shit up. I thought you you quit arena earlier. Good to see you're still fighting the good fight. Your mother was a you wretched ass, Oliver. If I had hero powered this six turns ago, I could get rid of it. It's my own fault. There is a chance. This has to go in there. Uh, Wowza with the prime. Thank you, Wowza. Thank you so much. Sounds like the Joker. <laughs> Dreads? Oh yeah, he's a real funny guy. You should have conceded and not queued into your loyal viewer. Your actions <laughs> have consequences. I should have. It's a mistake that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bear the burden of for the rest of my godforsaken, handsome, fortuitous life. The cold can't stop me. Can't go, my puppy army, go! I like how when I open the game, there's an angel lady with a big bosom. Yeah, I noticed that when I I, I opened it earlier today to make sure I could uh, um, play, you know, remember how to play. And I was like, I was pleasantly surprised at the voluptuous angel babe. Um, Zell, can I ask you a question? Or anybody that's played it? I was playing. Is it that I, I couldn't remember? It's all auto battler, right? And then it switches to. 
I couldn't do anything in that in the normal expeditions. I couldn't find a way to take it off of auto battler, which is fine because I was just mowing people down, leveling up my characters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, what's my current average in this meta? I got no clue. It's an auto battler plus tower defense. Yeah, yeah. I remember there were cool tower defense levels, and. I like those more than the auto battler portion, but I don't mind the auto battler stuff. I just sometimes they, you know, you, you're kind of playing the auto battlers, and you know, like Raid has the option to uh, auto battle, but I can also click around too sometimes. Does I like to like cast my spells? Each scar, a foe vanquished. Yeah, no, it does like tower defense, and then auto battler, and then tower defense, and then auto battler. PC users can scan the QR code on the screen. Well, they can scan it with their mobile phones. <laughs> what game? We're talking about Ace Defender. Only the greatest game of all time. Or one of. I could uh, really wreak some havoc with these cards. No? I get a bigger minion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure than these would give me. And funnel cakes. Obey the sea. I don't know if this is right. But he's off the board. I know that much. It should be PC users can stop being PC users. Well, no, watch this. I'm a PC user. Oh, that's that, that's semi-pornographic in nature. Well, look, now I'm a mobile user on my PC. Strike! Then strike harder! I got options. Give me your best shot! Just hurt him. They have a heck of an easier time scanning it than mobile users do, do they? Is that true? Well, the good news, we got 10 wins. 10 flippin' wins. The bad news, I don't know, there's still problems in the world. We can't solve them all here today. They're watching you on the phone. How do they scan it, Red? I think they can just click that link and then it will take them to the Play Store, I believe. I believe, Mr. Apathetic One. That's what the link is for. Why are you doing that face? How's the arena going? Pretty good. We started with a nice two win mage. And we're following it up with a 10-win druid. So all we need is two more wins. And that's a seven-win average, baby. That's a seven-win average. Do the ace developer, do the ace defender devs give you money for whiskey and cola or just diamonds in their game? Uh, they, I think they give money to the stream elements um, company. And then they exchange that money for my services, I think. I'd rather have minions that I can proactively play. The spells I want to get usually cost about seven mana or so, right? But no, they they pay like the the, the compensation we will receive will not be diamonds. Um, I will convert the the U.S. currency into tangible diamonds that I'll be wearing on my body after this campaign is done. We're gonna be dreads level rich. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be famous streamer level rich want you to stay hydrated yeah me too I want that I want that mech druid he's freaking styling all over me here Sharon fartens I mean gardens just gonna play that. It's kind of poo. I, I mean, we're getting the same amount of stats here, right? We're getting a, a you know, a 2 3 instead of a 3 2, which is actually better. Just floating a mana here. Looks like we might be floating a mana next turn. And we're never gonna draw the gardens, which is a bummer. Holy shit. Okay. 
This guy knows a little more about Hearthstone than we do right now. Put one in your forehead like a rapper? I'd love to. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Hero power? <laughs> I don't want a hero power. Oh my god, it's a three mana five six. That does things. Um okay, the <laughs> Mech Druid. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I haven't lost to a mech druid yet. This song's kind of kind of wild, man. Some, let's just skip it. Hello, hello, hello. Mech druid? I lost. I beat a mech, a crazy mech mage. I've lost to mech druid before. All right, we're just kind of sitting around waiting to hope to pick up a flipper friends so we could um, Die later You already lost to this one? Oh, okay. Yeah I hadn't lost to a mech, pa uh, mech druid until this game It's time for the flipper friends to make an appearance I said it's time for the flipper friends the can't stop me. Can you. Not looking too hot. Hey, you know what? We got 10 wins. Half the time we get more gold for 10 wins than we do for uh, a different amount anyway. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Got Demon Hunter with three puffers and a globber shark. To pick Warblade or Razor Glaive. Um. You know, I'm not sure what either of those cards are. Maybe Razor Glaive? Very interactive. Gangplank gets to attack the Freeze Minion and not get frozen. <laughs> yeah, that's good for them. That is good for them. Don't think we had equivalent decks, unfortunately. But 10 wins. Pretty solid. Hopefully they give us a buttload of gold. You know, I'll take it.